Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 784. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 779 to 786, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got a great video here that's going to help clear up the concept of blank. And the reason why is if you read Microsoft help on topics like sum if, sum product, is blank function, count blank function, paste special, skip blanks, and filter, they all, the, the help will use the word blank. So the people at Microsoft are using the word blank. But sometimes it means one thing, sometimes it means another. For example, when you use the is blank function, a blank means empty cell. That means there's nothing in it. If you use the count blank function, a blank will be empty or with a null string. This is empty. There's nothing there. This is a null string. Right? And this usually isn't, doesn't appear just like this, but it does appear as a formula results, result in some formulas. Right? So let's come up here, and what we're going to do is actually, this comes from a post. I posted this question at the Mr. Excel message boards, and some big heavyweight, really smart dudes um, posted some really great ideas, and so that's where all of this comes from. Now, let's just start off with this. Um, here we have some criteria. Here's a formula blank. This is an empty cell. And here's the numbers we want to add. We're going to look at the sum product using not blank. And not blank is less than greater than double quote, not blank. And then we'll use the sum if with this not criteria. Now, sum product right here will actually consider uh, empty or a null string. And because we have the not, it'll say not empty. Right? Not empty or null string. When we use this criteria, forget it. The sum if function will simply look at empty cells. Let's see how to do this. And we'll see that we get different answers. Equals sum product. And I'm going to create some criteria. That criteria will yield trues and falses. And I need to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. So I use double negative. And all I'm going to say is, hey, anything in this range, not blank. And then close parentheses. Now, this is important because you'll see this in a lot of uh, array formulas where you're extracting data or other types of uh, formulas, right? And so when you do this, it's, it's in, especially inside this sum product like this, it's going to be empty or a null string. All right, comma, so that's our criteria. And then we want to add here. Close parentheses, and we'll see that we get 150 because it's not seeing these two things. So if you highlight just these, that's where it's getting the numbers. All right, now let's do equal sum if. Sum if, and I'm going to highlight the range means with the criteria, comma, and then I'm just going to put a not. I actually did not know this before this post that you could just do this, and it meant empty cell. And then you go like that. So here, it really does mean empty cell. This is going to avoid that formula blank. So it's 195 because it's everything except for that 30. And you can see down here, there's a 195. All right, now what happens? There's another thing I learned here that I didn't uh, know before. Sum if, if I do the criteria, this criteria right here, B4, and I put an equal sign, comma, this says find the blanks exactly got it's going to get only one blank here because it's 30 so look at that that means empty not even a formula blank and it add, finds just the 30 those are pretty cool tricks all right now let's also look at some I, my post was about this right here i was asking about this and there was some other great post uh, that that pointed out some of the other areas in microsoft help that's that are inconsistent all right is blank function counts empty cell. So if I say, and I can't just do is blank for a whole range, so I'm going to have to put it inside some product and then double negative. I'm going to say is blank. Is blank counts only empty. So if I come up here and highlight that range there, I just want to find out how many blanks there are. It better only be one. And sure enough, it, it is because there is only one. Actually, let me right click hide. All right, now what about count blank? Count blank will not do that. It will actually look at both null string and empty. 
and that actually says that. It actually does, does tell you. It uses the word blank and help, but then it says uh, it will count formulas that evaluate to uh, a blank or a null string. So count blank will give us two because there are. There's that and that. So is blank and count blank do two different things? Empty, both um, empty or with, with a null string. That was from uh, someone's post. They were suggesting maybe Microsoft should use this term and this term. Uh, we have two more formulas right here, but I'm going to come back to those in just a moment. Let's just look at what we've done so far. This not criterion, not blank in some product. They're not equivalent, as we just saw. This one is empty. This one is empty or with null string. Is blank. They use the word blank in the help, and it does mean empty cell. And in fact, the help says blank, and then in parentheses, empty cell. Count blank function, as we saw, it will consider empty or with a null string. In the help, it says cells with formulas that return double quote, double quote, are empty text are also counted. So the help tries to you know, provide good information there and tell you that, yes, that will be included. Pay special skip blanks, which you'll see an example in just a second. Uh, uses the word blank, but treats it as an empty cell. So in help, it says to avoid replacing values in your paste error when blank cells occur in the copy area, uh, select skip blanks. We'll see an example. Also, filter. They use the word blank, but really they mean empty or a null string. So the help says the blank checkbox is available only if the range of cells or table columns contain at least one blank. And what they really mean is blank or uh, empty or null string. Here's an example for filter. I'm going to highlight and go up to Data Filter or Control Shift L. The field name up here, no way. See, it knows there's some blanks there. I'm going to select this and then blanks only. It will treat both of them, uh, null string or this empty cell. I'm going to Control Z, Control Z again. Now, let's look at Paste Special Skip Blanks. What Skip Blanks is supposed to do is you copy here. You're spo it's supposed to know that there's a blank there two of them, right? And when you come over here, it's only going to paste the 9 and the 2. So this is a trick used when you have some data there that you or you want to keep, right? These are blank. There's something over here, so those will be kept. But watch this. It's going to go ahead and treat this as, as a thing. It's actually going to take it and bring it over here. So really, it's only skipping an empty cell. If you have a null string, it will copy it. It will consider it a thing, not a blank, and paste it over here. So copy and paste it right here. Right click, paste special, and then there it is, skip blanks. One, two, three things will be pasted, and that five will be replaced. All right, uh, one last cool thing from this post. So uh, pretty much. Is blank and count blank. Uh, the help was pretty instructive here. Uh, it's a little bit confusing uh, for those two. Now, one other thing in this post. Uh, here we have some criteria we already saw. And what if we wanted to just say, hey, anything in here a number, then please add the corresponding values. Well, if we came up criteria like that, it would avoid this, it would avoid a logical, it would avoid an empty, and it would avoid a word. And two of the cool posts were this one. Let's look at this. Equals sum if. And here's the range with the criteria, comma, and what are we going to put into the criteria argument that says, hey, only numbers? Well, we could use array syntax, curly bracket, and then the first criteria in double quotes is greater than or equal to 0, and then a comma to get to the next criteria and then less than 0. Notice we had to have an equal on one of them. What this is doing, this is two criteria. Another important thing here is this is an uh, array syntax. We're not referencing cells over here. So even though this is going to create an array formula with this array syntax, we don't have to use Control shift enter And I'll show that to you in just a moment comma, and our sum range is up here. So really, it should then, with these two criteria, only add, boom, that 50. That's a number, that 35. So I'm going to close parentheses. Now, if I highlight this and hit F9, you'll see it, in fact, is trying to return two. It's retur it is returning two values. 
this criteria here was greater than or equal to 0. So it went ahead and added the 50 and the 35. I'm going to Control Z. Now we have to add those because it's delivering two numbers. A cell can have those two numbers. So we just put it inside a sum. Now watch this. I'm going to hit Enter. There's no curly brackets there. If you were to create this formula right here using cells, that is not array syntax. So if I hit Enter, it doesn't work. But if I hit Control Shift Enter, you can see the curly brackets up there. It will work. Now I'm going to Control Z Z. I kind of like this hard coding the two criteria in with array syntax because this is criteria that will never change. If our goal is to add any numbers, that's not changing. So we don't ever have to put it in cells like that. One last one. This was a cool one. Uh, someone says, hey, why don't you just pick the biggest number that Excel knows, boom, and do less than or equal to. So equals sum if. And here's the range right here. Remember, our goal is to find anything in here that's a number. So comma and our criteria is less than or equal to 9 point and then 14, 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. And then E307. So that's scientific notation for the biggest number that Excel can handle. That's our single criteria, comma, and there's our range. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Um, quite a wild video, kind of an esoteric video, just about empty or with a null string. We'll see you next trick.